So this exhibit is about challenging the concept of traditional monuments and instead celebrating living people who are actively contributing to society. Of course, you're known for your music career and your journey befriending Ku Klux Klan members. So I want to ask, are you still involved with Klan members? I am absolutely still doing my work with uh, white supremacists and racists and dealing with the KKK. I talk to them all the time on, on the phone, on Zoom, uh, through the email. Uh, even People even send me, people I don't even know from, from the Klan, even send me robes and hoods. And I'm sure when the, uh, when the uh, coronavirus crisis pandemic is over, uh, I will be meeting up more with them in person. And do you know how many members you convinced to leave the Klan? No, I, I, I didn't convert them. I gave them reason to think and they decided to make this conversion. Um, just over 200, and uh, they all are not from the Klan. Some of them are neo-Nazis, some of them are individual white supremacists, a lot of them from the KKK. And so how does that side of you relate to the musician side? In my job as a band leader, or anybody's job as a band leader, is to bring harmony on your stage amongst your voices, whether they are singing voices, vocal voices, or instrumental voices. So naturally, if my inclination is, is for harmony on my stage, when I step off the stage and I'm in society now, the, the gig is over, I want, I want harmony around me in society too.